event is something which is called milling um, which is where you've got to stand in a small square uh, you'll see the guys in the video they're sat on the benches if you fall the guys have to just push you back in so there's nowhere uh, to sort of escape the worst thing with the milling is it's about um, controlled aggression so you're not allowed to block uh, you're not allowed to dodge punches if you block or dodge punches you're actually mark down it could create you to uh, it could cause you to fail um so you have to stand there and you have to take the punches clean and uh, as i say you mark down if you if you don't do that so it's literally just maximum amount of punches that you can uh, you can throw for the 60 seconds and uh, it's just purely gauged on aggression uh, during the million phase, I got one of the um, one of the para officers who, are, as I've mentioned, there's an expectation of them to perform at a higher level. Um, so the guy I was actually milling against uh, was very aggressive, uh, was um, uh, from a boxing background. But there's a lot of boxers that I know have done the milling and, and the, it never served them because uh, where they want to actually... Uh, they want to move and uh, stay out of the way of punches and, and, and block them. You're not allowed to do it. And for some boxers, they found this, uh, this stage really, really difficult to do because it's not a natural thing for them to do and just stand there and, and actually trade punches. Hi, guys. Hope you're enjoying this video. Make sure that you like, share and subscribe to the channel. In the description below, you can book a strategy call with one of my coaches. You can download the uh, book. Enjoy the rest of the video. This was a, a test that um, a lot of people struggled with, um, especially if they're not from that background, they've not had a fight before, having to stand there and, and to trade punches was, was difficult. I probably had a bit of an advantage of, um, of uh, doing a little bit of fighting and, and sort of the area that I've been brought up in um, was some of that, uh, should we say, came sort of second nature to me. So um, getting stuck in there was uh, some that I'd just done. During my milling phase, uh, I had my nose broken and my cheekbone cracked. Uh, and you'll actually see them mopping up all of the, the blood. Uh, I just found it difficult to wear a gum shield. It wasn't something I'd done before and I was just gagging on the gum shield and, and, and found that probably the worst, a bit bizarrely. Um, and once my nose had popped as well, I literally couldn't get any oxygen in because I was struggling with a, with, with a mouth guard in. And once my nose was broken as well, uh, you'll literally just see me with my head down and just trying to just continuously move forward and throw as many punches as I physically could. Um, you'll see other guys in the milling phase, extremely fit guys. A couple of them were knocked out cold. Uh, guys came out with uh, black eyes, uh, broken noses was pretty, uh, was pretty common. Um, a short event, but um, uh, definitely um, a challenging event in terms of um, just trying to, uh, you're taught to, to inflict as much punishment um, and damage on, the, uh, on your opponent as you possibly can during the 60 seconds. 